Oh bother, I sure do like watching Kevin's videos. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today. I'm going to share with you this Winnie the Pooh figure I got from Beast Kingdom. It finally arrived. Uh, seems like a year ago I uh, placed an order for this and uh, I absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm going to share with you this Winnie the Pooh figure as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And uh, let's go ahead and unbox it. Um, if you didn't already know, I absolutely hate styrofoam. Um, it's part of my weirdness of having Ellers Danlos. I have my hands feel like velvet, so when I touch it, it's very, very annoying. Ugh. I know there's no other way really to strip them, but it's it's uh let's see it sides up the side so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the tape and then we shall open this i've been really looking forward to this figure Whoa. Ooh, man, it has a strong odor. I don't even, just like a chemical smell. Of course, as with all figures, it comes with a certificate of authenticity. And we'll have to see what number we got. Let me get that back in there. And then the B is separate. He's in his own little baggie. Buzz, buzz. That's a cute little dude. If you hear rumbling, it's not thunder. Apparently, my cats are playing upstairs and running around. Oh, I think that's. Oh, that was heavy. All right, so this is all one piece. Sometimes you uh, have to attach the figure to the base. But um, this one seems to already be. This one seems to already be on the base. Haha! <laughs> Great dad humor. So oh, here we go. This is really nice. It almost looks like automotive paint. <laughs> Let's roll it over to me so I can see what number we got. We got number 519 out of 99. And it looks like it's uh, damaged right there, but that's where the B actually goes. So let's stick the B in his nose. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know if it goes in any further than that, but uh, there we go. I love this thing. Like I said, normally the um, the bases uh, of the characters, you have to fit the uh, characters onto it. But this one you don't. It has the little plaque in the front, like I said, that gives you your number. It's numbered up to 99. Usually the normal uh, version of this would be to uh, 3,000. But they only did 999 of these. And he's sitting on a cute little tree stump. And then they have the copper or brass coloring on the leaf there. And the honey is translucent. And then you can see a, um, it's basically coming out of the pot of honey. It's really nicely done. Like I said, this, this almost looks like a uh, automotive finish. And the coloring is just so great. Um, I'll show you a closer look at this. This is the back, um, but uh, I'm so glad to finally have this. Like I said, I gotta find room for it because we have another one to open after this one and that would be um, the Snow White one. And uh, But we're just gonna do this one for today. I'm already worn out. Um, just getting out of bed today was not easy for me. So, 
but uh, yeah, this looks great. There's some slight, very slight scuffing on there, but I think I can get that off there. It might just be from the from the packaging, so we'll see. But otherwise, it looks like great. I think he's incredibly cute, and uh, I'll show you some close-ups of it. And uh, I, I think it's still available if anyone's interested. Um, like I said, I, I prefer this one over the original one. It's just more, uh, I don't know. I just like the coloring. So that's my, uh, like I said, review. Oh, let me look at the bottom. Ugh, God, that's heavy. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the bottom other than just made in China. There's just no surprise there. Most figures are. It's just deeper, deeper. It's easier to get things cheaper there so that's why they produce stuff there and people complain about it but until the u.s is gonna you know start offering crazy low prices on production uh, it's not gonna happen so uh, it's unfortunate and i know so much was always made in the united states and now it's not so but uh, i'm not gonna go into that it's a whole nother kind of thing so that's it for now on this uh i'm gonna show you close-ups and uh that'll be the video for the day um, I absolutely love Beast Kingdom figures. Um, they're always, uh, I've always had good things, uh, to say about them because I've not had really had any issues, um, with any of their figures. I always enjoy close up views of figures so you can see all the details and such. So here's your, uh, close up of Winnie the Pooh. I almost forgot I will be unboxing this Beast Kingdom Snow White figure in my next video. Um, I, the box is much bigger than the Winnie the Pooh one. He's sitting down, but uh, still, it's a pretty big box, so I'm curious to see how they have her packaged in here. Probably pretty well because her hands look like they could easily break if you didn't uh, pack them well. So uh, I'll be unboxing this. I look forward to it. She has a cute little bird, bird on her hand. And uh, it would be so cool if they did the other seven dwarfs. I think that would be awesome. But uh, who knows? I don't know if they'll do that or not. Um, I will also have the witch or hag from Snow White uh, in a future video. I'm really looking forward to her. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, it's nice to know you guys are actually watching. It's not just random people clicking on stuff. Um, I enjoy uh, talking with you all and sharing my life with you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it just as much as I enjoy doing it. So I will talk to you guys soon. You all have a magical day.